Hey guys, Ballerfan85 back with another video and again I'm keeping with the belt thing right now. I'm going to be reviewing belts. Uh, this is one that I've had for probably over a year. I'm a huge Finn Balor fan of course, Ballerfan85 and when he became the first ever Universal Champion I had to have it and I was hoping to get it signed by him. I was hoping he'd be the first person to sign it but when we went to WrestleCon this year Bill Goldberg was there and I couldn't resist. So the review I'm going to be doing today is the WWE Universal title. This belt is growing on me. I got to admit, I wasn't a fan of it when the belt uh, was unveiled. Uh, I was part of the majority who hated this belt. But after getting the replica and really seeing the detail in it, really seeing the weight to it, the thickness of the plates, you can see the thickness of the plates, a lot better than the last two that uh, I've reviewed with the paper thin plates. This is a gorgeous belt. This is a gorgeous replica. And the best thing about it is you have side plates that you can change out. Now, this is the side plate that comes on, on both sides of the universal title. And it kind of, I mean, you can fit it on any of the, the new logo belts, the WWE Network logo, the WWE Scratch big logo, even the UK title. So. It, it's it's kind of universally fit amongst those titles, but uh, that's the regular plate. I do have the Balor plates. I have one right here. I'll show. This is one of the Balor plates. Normally the Balor plate is on it, but because we went and met Bill Goldberg, I had had to get the Goldberg side plates. And I mean they look really good on the belt. And another thing that I had to do had to get Bill Goldberg to sign. So this is the WWE Universal title with Goldberg side plates. So the next clip again is going to be one where I go in more detail with it and I kind of show you what's going on. I show you the, the tooling in the snap box. I show you the tooling behind here, uh, behind the logo. So enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to be putting more of these out in the future. Okay, here's part two. Here's where I go in more detail of the belt and kind of show you what's going on. The first thing, you got the logo up here, but I love the back. I love the, the texturing in the back. Uh, it really makes it pop out just like the, the WWE the actual titles you have stones all the way around red and then you got clear uh, Universal Champion right here the logo with the black swoosh um, I, I really don't have anything to say bad about this replica I mean again hated the belt when it came out but after getting the replica almost have to have to appreciate just the beauty that goes into it uh, don't have stock side plates on it. I got the Goldberg side plates, and they it works on the it works on the Universal title. I mean, the black and gold kind of fits pretty good. I like my Balor plates better, but because it's signed by Goldberg, I think I'm just going to keep the Goldberg plates on it. Uh, basic tooling in the snap box. You got the WWE logo right here with a nice little pattern around it, I like the clamshell tooling around it. I'm gonna come over here. Basically the same thing, the Goldberg side plates with the tooling around it. And then there is the Goldberg signature, had him inscribed Hall of Fame 2018 because he had legitimately, he had got inducted the night before. So had to get that. Uh, it could be one of the first one that gets the, could be one of the first people that gets the Hall of Fame inscription on it. So we're gonna go down here, got the gold tip on the, the end. All in all, this is a beautiful belt. I would recommend it. Uh, I think it's even worth the full price. But again, I'm going to keep talking the same way I always preach. Get it on sale. They have sales all the time. But uh, thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope you enjoy the rest of the videos I'm going to be putting out. Thank you.